The Scale-Out Backup Repository is a wonderful way that you can transparently put backups into a performance tier, a capacity tier, and an archive tier. This technology by Veeam is a wonderful way that you can store your backups in the cloud, have archives in the cloud, all with ease of use and transparency that makes it very simple to use. Let's take a look at a quick demo. So what you're looking at here is a list of the different repositories that are available at Veeam, whether it's direct attached storage, network attached storage, appliances, or even object storage, Veeam's very agnostic for the backup targets. I have a number of them pre-configured here, and I want to draw your attention to these four, these two NAS shares and two different Azure storage resources. Those are going to be what I use to build the scale-out backup repository. And let's do that. So I'm going to add a scale-out backup repository here. I'm going to just take the default name, and I'm going to add for the performance tier, those two NAS shares that I selected earlier. I can mix and match here. I can add dedupe appliances, fixed local disk, network attached storage, all kinds of flexibility. But let's go ahead and take these two. And now some of the policy elements kick in. One of the things I can do is set what's called a placement policy. If I wanted to, I could ensure that all backup chains are kept together, their full backup and their increments, or I could set a performance policy that says, well, this disk system maybe is more suitable for full backups and this one is more suitable for increments. I can get very granular to that level. And I'll show you that right here. I can select just the increments for this one. And then for NAS share three, I could say just the full backups. This is a really way, really good way that you can have a performance policy for your backups. Now let's make it interesting and introduce some of the object storage resources. That is the capacity tier. So what I'm going to do is pre-select my favorite options here, and let's explain these in depth. The first option is that we're going to extend the scale-out backup repository to the object storage. So in this case, I sent an Azure blob container as my target, and I'm going to also select the copy mode. This is a great way to get backups offsite immediately for that beloved 321 rule. And then once those backups age out of an operational restore window, I'm going to move them to the capacity tier. And that's set to 14 days. And I always recommend encrypting backups in the cloud. So this is a very important step here, but you can set the extension to the cloud, the copy mode, the move mode, and encryption of these backups in the cloud. It doesn't stop there. So this is now the archive tier. The archive tier allows those longer term storage restore points to be put in cold storage in the cloud. So by default, it's gonna give me an option to archive the backups only if that retention time is above the minimum storage period in that cold class of storage in the cloud. So for this environment, it's a minimum storage of 180 days. I'm gonna archive it older than 90 days. Now, we've set up a scale out backup repository. Life is good, but it takes some time to move that data through the cycle. So what I wanna do now is show you a different environment that's already set up, and you can see what I mean on this journey of performance, capacity, and archive. So in this environment, I have that set transparently where this particular job, those three virtual machines have over 200 restore points. Now you'll see by that repository, it's called Azure Capacity and Archive Scale-Out. This is a different environment, but it takes some time to run that through. So on disk, on premises, I have only two restore points. This particular environment is set relatively aggressively to move data to the cloud. So I only have two restore points on premises. In object storage, I have a lot more. I have over 200, but not all of them. So this is the Azure capacity tier, so the blob container. And then I have archive, where I have a long tail, those long restore points, only 10 that are kept in Azure archive tier storage. Very easy to use, very transparent. So if you like what you see, Moving backup data doesn't have to be tough from a performance tier to a capacity tier to an archive tier. 
The Veeam Scale Out Backup Repository is a great way that you can do that. If you like what you see, and I hope that you do, go to veeam.com and download a trial today.